Howdy everyone, Creepy Jones 651 here, and day 21 is upon us. Today I wasted no time in getting out to that adventure, replanted some sugarcane, and fixed my fence, and I tamed a new I tamed my first dog. His name is Boris. And he's coming with me on an adventure today as I grab some maps, make some maps, make a map wall, and head on over to that new cave system we found with the lush cave. And, uh, yeah, I didn't have enough maps, I underestimated how many I'd need. Good thing we had that sugarcane farm. But yeah, welcome to part three of 100 Days in Minecraft. And, uh, yeah, so I realized I needed a bed before night so I could set my spawn there, so if I died, I could just respawn there instead of, uh, all the way back at spawn. And this was dangerous, me doing this too, because I could have died between here and there and just gone way back to the original world spawn point without a bed. So yeah. Uh, set up camp here, made sure to set my spawn, and headed down into the depths of the cave. I found an interesting, uh, interesting uh, find here uh, after I mined some coal. Actually, it was while I was mining some iron down here that I found it. I broke through and noticed an underwater uh, cavern? That was just separated by this wall. Oh, finally got the achievement for shearing sheep. <laughs> Took long enough. Anyways, lit the place up a little, grabbed another bucket of water just in case, and each one of these coal... Oh yeah, found a place where I can harvest some glow with squidding. Each one of these coal deposits uh, had a bit of water behind them. Anyways, <laughs> as I was traveling down, uh, Boris was excited, as you can see here. Bye! Yeah. He, 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 he was like Geronimo, so I'm like, you know what, the dog's all for it, I might as well. So yeah, I hopped down there and gathered some of this moss stuff. I liked having the azalea bushes, I wanted a lot of those. Almost stepped into lava there. And uh, my eye got caught on this uh, here flower. Now it wasn't all good that happened down here. There was something bad that happened, but you'll see that in a sec. Anyways... I uh, gathered more moss, and I uh, found a couple deposits of iron here and there. Um, but yeah, uh, I almost got caught by this creeper's explosion. Poor Boris, he got hit with full blast. Fortunately, he didn't die there. Uh, skeleton almost killed him. <laughs> His tail was all the way down. If I hadn't uh, dealt the killing blow to that skeleton, he would have been dead. But yeah, I uh, fed him some of my cooked pork chop, because I was worried the a spider would kill him if I got uh, into a fight. And uh, yeah, realized I'd sat him down. Anyways, I was just about to leave the area and collect some lapis when I noticed there was some uh, there was some, some iron deposit uh, over across from it, and it was a good de deposit of iron too. So I collected that. I'll probably head back to the lapis later. Got some drip stone. I mean drip leaf. And, uh, yeah, we got into a fight with this skeleton. Oh, yeah. Um, this was... I should have finished this, uh, fight sooner, because poor Boris, he aggroed the, uh, skeleton and got all the hits on him. I was about to feed him, but this zombie ki attacked me, so those two got in a fight and Boris perished. He, he lived as... He, he died as he lived. A brave dog. Anyways, we, uh, well, I went back up, uh, to the surface, still being shot at by skeletons, because it was nighttime, and, uh, yeah, I needed to head back to camp before something worse happened. Anyways, I guess this kind of made up for it, I, uh, okay, nothing's gonna make up for the loss of Boris, but uh, I learned my lesson that night. I was not going to, uh, breed dogs again until I had at least iron armor or better I wanted to take care of them so yeah I on uh, day 22 I bone wheeled a bunch of moss and collected it I was gonna use a lot of this back home and I wanted to have as much as I could carry anyways made a stone cutter finally so I could get varied blocks and I uh, used a hoe on all the the moss. It was raining when I got back, and the first thing I wanted to do was to set my spawn point back home. So that's what I did. 
and I set down the stone cutter and decorated my map wall with some moss. And uh, I was not sure what to do with the rest of the moss I had, so I tried making hedges out of it. Don't worry, if these look ugly, trust me, they will be upgraded. But yeah, I decided to put some of the excess on the top of my house, give it a sort of green roof. I don't know if it added or took away from the build itself, um, but we'll see it as we go on. Anyways, it was a very, it felt like a very long day, so I cooked up some meat and uh, adjusted my map. And that was it for day 22. I was ready. I went to sleep, and it was day 23. And it was at this point when I noticed something on my feed. There was a newcomer to the hardcore challenge of days 1 to 10, and Gamer Woody. Game on. I'll be the first to find diamonds, you can count on that. So I'd gotten into a routine of taking care of the crops and breeding up the cows. But once that is done, my goal for the next few days was to get diamonds as fast as possible. As you can see here, I bred a few cows, and I wasn't going back there like uh, unprotected like I was last time. No, I was going to get some armor. Can I get a full suit of armor? I of course grabbed a pick to help me with the diamonds, and I noticed that uh, cooking food was taking a lot longer, so I needed a couple campfires. So I was going to make a kitchen over at the, the kiln. So I went out, I was on my way, and I found a pet turtle! Or, it was, I, I, I'm not going to lie, I spent a good bit of time panicking trying to find the leaves that I was had uh, misplaced. I have, still have no idea where they are. Honestly, now that I think about it, the only place I didn't check was over by the quarry. <laughs> so yeah, I tried cutting it in. I'm hoping I didn't end up drowning it. Um, should have been able to bob up to the surface to replenish your air. But, uh, but the reason I'm saying this is because I can't... I don't know what happened to it. I uh, placed it in here. And uh, yeah, it looked like it was doing wonderful. I thought I'd had a pet, but... Uh, it's a good thing I didn't name it. Because that night I went over to film it to, uh, first of all, set up my new campfire uh, setup. It was going to turn into like an automated uh, campfire. But yeah. Uh, watched the sunset and took a nap for the night. Then, it was on to day 24. I was getting anxious to get up and out, but I wanted to check on my turtle to see if uh, the turtle was still there. But shock and awe. The turtle was gone. Anyways, I didn't really <laughs> mind it too much to keep from making progress. I decorated my new room over at the kiln and finally put the automated cooker together. And then uh, at that point, I put aside a few berries, killed the drowned, and grabbed a few maps to uh, replace them on the map wall. Uh, I wanted to make it all sideways to match the landscape, and to do that I did, and I went over to the cave once more. I set my spawn point there just in case I managed to die, to come back to that. Um, Minecraft Bedrock, the one I play, doesn't have uh, hardcore yet, so I'm just playing this like normal until then. Anyways, went through here, uh, <clears throat> jumped over a ravine. And narrowly missed a couple zombies. And, uh, yeah. My main concern down here was more creepers than anything else, and getting shot by a skeleton into lava. Saw a sparkle in the distance and realized there was a, a naturally spawning uh, pool of uh, glow squid. I protected it against a zombie, zombies, spider, and <clears throat> another zombie. Anyways, dealt with that and realized this was a, spot, a slime chunk. So I took care of the slime and uh, lit up the surrounding area. I got to a safe spot so I could close the blinds and then got back into the swing of things. And wouldn't you know what I found diamonds! <laughs> I lit up the surrounding area so that there would be no surprise uh, mob drop-ins or uh, surprise attacks. And uh, yeah, two, two diamonds I think it was. Let's, let's see. There was. The whole po this was the whole point of the trip, just to grab these diamonds and say, Gamer Woody, game on.
I got it. <laughs> Anyways, went back to the slime chunk, and, uh, yeah. I realized quickly how easily the slimes could, uh, accumulate in this area. And, uh, yeah. I'm just gonna show you a montage of my, uh, my cave expedition. I'm just gonna say this, I managed to get a lot of glow squid ink, uh, slime balls, and resources. Okay, so at this point I think I should say something. The reason you're seeing me collect a lot of redstone and gold at this point is so I can tell the time underground, because at this point, the caves that I'm exploring aren't big enough to, uh, well, see the glow of the outdoors. So, once I make a clock, I'll be able to see just fine, and I'll be able to keep better track of the day. So at this point, I was getting a ton of resources, tons of it. I was getting tons of iron, and I found another batch of diamonds. Now, I set that aside for that point because I wasn't sure how to get over to it without falling in lava or anything. Uh, so I went back, collected some more iron and stuff, and killed some slime. Anyways, I realized I'd brought a stack of dirt along with me. Haha, it's good to be it's good to be prepared. <laughs> What's funny is I brought it exactly for this purpose, in case something like this happened. And I think I managed to get... I think I managed to get three diamonds from this. Yeah. And it was on to J25. I say that because there was a faint glow in the other cave, uh, from the outside. And I was getting ready to head there. Anyways, grabbed a bit of redstone dust, and uh... Yeah. I was, I was happy to be out of there. Eventually, I'll learn to make bubble elevators a common thing, but for now, the going up was a lot longer than going down. <laughs> Anyways, grabbed the last bit of coal from this spot here that I'd missed, and I did not feel like I was safe until I'd got these diamonds back home. Anyways, I combined the slime balls into slime blocks so I'd be able to stack them and save inventory space, and made a diamond pickaxe so I'll be able to mine obsidian. It's always amazing to see your builds fade into view when you walk into render distance of them. Anyways, made it back to the kiln and made a few more item frames for the map wall. I crafted a couple more maps. I wanted to put my home base on the map wall. Realized I needed more sugarcane for paper, so I went over to my sugarcane farm and did a full harvest. Planted a few more, but not too much because I wanted to make a lot of paper this time. Anyways, made that paper, and made a couple maps, and it connects together quite nicely. However, the way I have it set up is forcing me to explore inland. Anyways, I went back over to the photography table, made another map, and placed it in the empty item frame so that I could explore the cavern uh, system with the map later. Cooked up some iron, and waited for sun to set, and it was finally... I said, finally, day 26.
Day 26, I wanted to upgrade the auto cooker I had over at the kiln, so for that I needed iron. I got what I needed from the furnace and crafted it up a couple hoppers. Once I had those, I headed over to the kiln to set them up. Now that I had a proper kitchen set up, I was a little lost as to what I should do. So I wondered about the base for a bit. Tending farms, harvesting resources, and cleaning up. I may have got distracted with by how lighting works with glass blocks in the sky. Once I was done being distracted, I made a clock and a compass so I could go on longer journeys. I decided to test them out while on a fishing trip. Making a fishing trip montage interesting is hard to do, so I cut out a bunch of caught and salmon catches. I believe it was around noon when I cast off. Of course, now that I had an iron pickaxe, I couldn't ignore this gold block any longer. I wanted to explore and find a coral reef, but my gut told me I'd better be careful and mind the compass. I wasn't sure if the compass pointed towards my bed or the world spawn at this point, so I kept the needle facing behind me just in case. I fished throughout the night and got a bit lucky. Well, it, if you can call it vanishing rod lucky, that is. Fortunately, my next cast was cast. My next cast was luckier. I had to chase after it though because I hadn't the room for it when I reeled it in. I gotta say, when you see these enchants on a book, you've scored. I, got a, I caught a couple more fish before heading home. Sure enough, it was a good thing I didn't stray too far from it. The needle of the compass almost took me back to the frozen tundra. Luckily, I found my way back. I'd realized my mistake after this expedition. I, fit, I needed a fishing shack, one that would protect me against the mobs and where I could set aside a success of catches. And so I walked home and slept, a bit disappointed by not having a way to instantly find my way home, but at the same time excited to try and get a lodestone in the future. And just like that, it was day 27. I put the compass in a chest after double checking to see if it really was pointing towards spawn. I organized my inventory, collected my smelted gold, and headed over the kiln to cook the fish I'd caught yesterday. Once I was done with that, I walked over to the pier and started work on my fisherman's shack. Finally, I closed the door and kicked back for another night of fishing. I quickly realized the importance of torches and lit up my shack before any hostile mobs came along. I noticed there was a spider sneaking up on me from the left. I almost ignored it, but it decided to get my attention. I realized my mistake and quickly boarded up the walls, leaving only a couple slots open for aesthetic. With that, I resumed fishing and managed to get a new rod. I was happy to see the enchants mending and breaking look at the sea and lure on the rod I had caught. I decided to use my new lucky rod and repair it by using it. And I used it throughout the night. It was day 28 when I stopped fishing, but not until after I had fished up a few more enchanted items to make my inventory sparkle.
I left my new epic fishing rod in the shack and decided it was time to make a storage section at the kiln for the current and future enchanted items. I saw a creeper out the window and decided I'd better close the door behind me. Don't want that sneaking up on me. I then once more cooked up the food I had caught. Figured I'd best take care of that creeper before it takes care of me, so I did. Creeper, quarter pocket. Apparently I learned to go blast fishing. Cooking all this food was take still taking some time, so I thought about expanding the campfire. Another time though. I had trapdoors to keep my food from popping out onto the floor. I decided to make the kitchen official and I stored my excess food there. Grab some wood and campfire for future use, then stack the three chests on top of each other for enchant storage. I'm not gonna lie, most of the day was just spent cooking up the raw fish I'd caught during the previous cycles. By the end of the day, I had food taken care of and a pretty good idea of where I wanted to go with my base. But it was gonna take a lot of resources. It was day 29. I needed to get some resources. And the place was getting pretty barren, so I decided to replant. Um, these mobs uh, kept spawning beneath me. At first I thought they were in the trees above me. I don't know why I didn't look down first. Um, but yeah, I nearly got blown up by this creeper. And I'm pretty sure the skeleton and the creeper were working together to blow me up there, because the skeleton shot me off into the creeper's range. Anyways, I dealt with the mobs and got back to work on gathering resources. Sorry if my voice sounds terrible, it's allergy season for me, and <laughs> early morning, so it's kind of a, a wacky combo there. But anyways, uh, like I said, I gathered the resources and decided that in order to prevent future giant holes from appearing around my base, I would sleep the night away. Anyways, got that done, destroyed some zombies that were already being destroyed on day 30, and it, I knew my time was was short for the session, so I had to get as many resources as possible, as fast as possible. So I crafted a few extra axes, and got to work on being a lumberjack. As I said before, the place was looking a bit barren, so I decided to add some more large trees to the place. Apparently that wasn't enough uh, stone, so I dug and mined straight into this cave where a zombie was waiting for me. I'd been hearing the zombie in this cave for a while now, but didn't know it was right underneath me. I thought it was like to the side or something. Anyways, dealt with the zombie, got back up to the mine. I, w I hadn't dug down all the way here yet, so I was going to wait until I had in order to explore that cave. Anyways, grabbed some lapis that was just sitting there, and some coal. And uh, yeah, that was it for day 30. <clears throat> Gotta say, this, this 10 days has felt super productive. Anyways, if you have enjoyed, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, click that bell for notifications, and every time I upload a video, you guys will know. Anyways, blessings to y'all, and until next time, thank you all for watching, and blessings to y'all, and peace out.